Being a brand ambassador, influencer, however you want to qualify it, uh, is very uncomfortable to me. It's not something, like seeking the limelight is definitely not something I've ever really yearned for. Um, developing a brand, uh, being a part of something bigger than yourself, uh, be it the brand that you're developing or something like Above the Felt, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And I think for most, they don't understand necessarily what they're signing up for. You have to carve out extra time to, to make sure that you're shaking hands, that you're getting to know the people who are supporting you on the regular, and that you're supportive of their dreams too. If the opportunity arises where somebody who is a follower, who is on a rocket ship up, can find me and tell me like, hey man, I started watching you during the pandemic. It really got me through a lot of the boring hours. And now suddenly I find myself grinding 2550. Never thought I would be here. That's a fucking story I want to hear. It's very easy to just be like getting your dick kicked in at the table and then have two people see you on break when all you have to do is piss and forget like this is more important, you know? Sometimes I meet people and they'll say, oh, I want to be a professional like you, um, um, you're an inspiration and things like that. And I'm always inspired by the, the new players and the enthusiasm they have for the game because as a professional for almost 20 years, we get a little jaded to all the success and the swings and start to become a bit uh, dead inside to all of this. So while I may inspire them in that way, I'm inspired by the new player and his enthusiasm for the game and to be so excited about it. And like that really inspires me when I see that in people.